In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how we can get ProBuilder into our Unity project. You can build, edit, and texture custom geometry in Unity with the tools available in ProBuilder package. You can also use ProBuilder to help with the in-scene level design, prototyping, collision meshes, and play testing. ProBuilder also comes with a scripting API so that you can write some c -sharp scripts to make your own tools and customizations if you require. So how do we actually get ProBuilder active within our project? Let's start by creating a new project. So first of all, we're just going to click on New, 3D Project, give it a name, and then click Create. So the first thing we need to do when Unity opens is actually head up to Window and head to our Package Manager. Because it's part of the Unity environment, we need to bring that package into our project. So once it opens, make sure you select Package Manager. Inside the Package Manager here, you can then look at in the project, in the Unity registry, in My Assets. So we want to actually look in Unity registry. This will give you a list of all the different packages that are available. Now we need to import it. So we can head over to the, to the Finder and type in ProBuilder. This will open up ProBuilder for us. Then we can actually install it. So you click on install. This will then start the installing process and give us access to the package. Now that our import is finished of ProBuilder, we can then go click on scene and we can start using ProBuilder. First of all, we need to head up to tools, select on ProBuilder and bring up the ProBuilder window. Now the ProBuilder window will open as a little floating palette. Now this palette can be stretched, etc. If you want to, you can actually change the look of the palette and you can change it to the icon mode, which some people prefer. Also, you can change it. So rather than being a window, it can actually be a floating window or dockable at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave this as a floating window. I'm just gonna select the second tool here and this is going to allow me to mark out a polygon area. So I'm just putting in little vector points are being added. And once it's finished, I can then extrude up or down, depending on what I would like to do. You can see over here on the right hand side, the extrusion is there. And when you're happy with it, just click. So when you want to create more complex objects like staircases, you can easily do that by first of all, holding down your option key and clicking on the basic shapes. This will then bring up a new palette. If this palette disappears, you can always just hold down the option and click on the icon again. This will be the same for other cog based icons here. So in here you have different types of things you can create. So some of the more common ones that people use are like the door and definitely the stairs. So when you do select stairs, you'll notice that it's in a blue type pattern, unlike the existing stairs that are on stage. Notice how the menu's disappeared now, since I've moved it, so to bring it back, hold down the option key, click again. We can actually change the number of steps that are involved. You can see it's sort of getting smaller. Or we can have more stairs. We can actually change the curvature of the stairs if we'd like. We can also change the width, the height, and also the radius as well if we want a smaller spiral staircase going up. But the staircase doesn't take its form, such as this one here, until you click on the Build button. So once you click on Build, then the object is now built. And once again, the normal adjustment tools still apply. So you can scale, tilt, all those sorts of things. Spin it around if you need be to get it in position. So I hope you found this tutorial useful on getting started with ProBuilder and getting ProBuilder into your Unity project. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Unity projects.